Naughty, 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 little master. You have disobeyed your father's wishes one time too many. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. Another will embrace what you have rejected, and that other will be your death. But your father loves you dearly. You never inherit yourself yet. Slaughter your line. Become the last of your name. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Memories flood back, snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. All is as you feared. You are a spawn of Baal, his heir, his scion. And yet, you know you will never be free of your urge if you don't confront your past. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin. It's time for a family reunion. But be wary of your confessors. Will friend turn to foe, knowing what you are? I'm not surprised. You've become death incarnate. Mighty, yes. And altogether unpredictable and intractable. One day, perhaps soon, Baal will demand your fealty. You'll either muster the strength to defy him, or you will succumb. I know how I choose. Tell me, or show me. My mind is open to you. Exposed to the limitless horror of your dreadful imagination, Minthara's mind buckles, snaps, and then burns hot. She absorbs every detail with a memory or dream, and drinks deep of them. You sense a desire in her equal in strength to your darkest urge. Elghor, Doktak, Slayer. There are many names for you, and all of them inspire dread. You are exquisite. I know. We must find the Temple of Baal. Slaughter, Orin, and claim your inheritance. The urges are calling on you again, aren't they? I haven't seen you sleep through the night once in the past days. I knew you had some nasty habits, but it, I didn't want to pry over much, but bloody hells! A pulse born. Probably more Baldurian parents scare their children with stories of your kind than mine. I thought your kind was extinct. Goes to show. You should always check your facts. So, how are you feeling? Keen to reconnect with your family? Or ready to throw yourself in an oubliette? You know, though I don't look a day over a hundred, I was alive in Baldur's Gate when the Baal spawn first arose. I was barely aware of it, locked in the kennels as a young spawn. Rather thrilling, I get to watch the bloodshed firsthand. I felt very unfashionable missing out last time. That's 
It's a heavy weight. I know you can carry it, but it's heavy all the same. You are so much more than your parents. You're more than the affliction that wants to consume you. You are my friend. And you get to choose your destiny. Choose well, all right? Please. I suppose that makes you quite remarkable. Though not in a way I'd envy, perhaps. From what little I can recall hearing of Baal's mortal children, not all succumb to his influence. Perhaps you can still resist your nature, if you want to. Hells, it explains so much. Listen to me. I knew another like you, Gorion's Ward, one of Baldur's Gate's great heroes. Baal's blood ran through their veins too. They burned away their own darkness with their own inner light. They chose courage, they chose honor, and so can you. You are a mortal child of Baal. Be careful with whom you share that fact. I hear many of your kind have met premature ends. <laughs>